subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video about RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how you can bypass the lobby when you are in a meeting. So obviously, if you have set up the meeting, you can change the options in Teams so any other participant can bypass the lobby when they want to join your meeting. Before I continue with this video, please subscribe to my channel, please like this video, please click on the bell icon to receive notifications. So I'm in Teams at the moment. Here are my whole host of Teams at the moment. I'm going to go to a class team and um, I'm going to click on my class here. Then once I'm in class at the top, I have my options, post files, class notebooks, assignments, grades. Scroll to the right side. Let's say I want to create an instant meeting. I'll click on the meet button here and it will bring up this screen here. So I'm going to call this test meeting. And then what I'll do here is change some settings. I'm going to choose my computer audio here because that's what I want to do in the meeting. I'll click on join now because I'm the meeting creator and um, <clears throat> what it will do, it will connect to the meeting but there is a setting in, in Microsoft Teams where normally people, if they want to join that meeting, will have to wait in the lobby until they are accepted into the meeting. However, there is a way where you can bypass that option or they can bypass it, but the uh, meeting created needs to change the option there. At the top here, in your test meeting or whatever the, the meeting name is, you've got hide participants, show participants, um, participants. you've got a show conversation one here, you can click it again, it will hide that bar on the right. You've got breakout rooms, which is a new cool feature which I'll show you in a second, um, in my next video even um, you've got this one here more actions the three dots or the ellipsis if you click on that option there and then you we need to scroll down to where it says meeting options here when you scroll down where it says meeting options here you've got a few options you can um, <coughs> choose from you can specify from this drop down who can bypass the lobby so you can set it so it's only you uh, people in your organization and guests, people in my organization's trusted organization and guests, or everybody. So everybody who clicks that join button can potentially bypass that meeting there. Or if it's only you, you can change the setting here um, or choosing anyone. You can change it there. So allow allows let callers bypass the lobby. So anybody there can bypass it. So you can change this setting here. Let me put it back as only me here. Announce when callers join or leave. You can enable that or disable that. So obviously when somebody joins your meeting, it will obviously let you know who's joined the meeting. Who can present? At the moment it's only me, but you can change that. So if you want specific people to pre present, you click on that and choose obviously um, who you want to present. Um, the meeting people in your organization or you can allow everybody to present in your meeting and then <clears throat> you can change it back to only me and click on save make sure you click on this save button um, otherwise you'll say um, your changes will not be saved so let me click back on save it's saving the changes so it depends now who's going to be um, joining my meeting obviously nobody should be joining my meeting um, but let me just change my settings again meeting options um, so only me I can bypass the meeting so everybody else will be um, waiting in the lobby before I accept them in so one more time to bypass the lobby or to change the settings of bypassing the lobby click on the more actions bit at the top click on meeting options here from this drop down choose everyone click on save and we're done um, so that's just a quick video on changing the preferences settings on who can bypass a lobby when you're setting up a meeting in Microsoft Teams. I hope this video has helped you. Please like, subscribe and share.